Hi guys, Karen here with another video. And today I'm making a vegetarian gumbo. And it's so good, but I only make it like three times a year. You're gonna need canola oil or a type of oil, some veg vegetable broth, at least six cups. I'm using the Le Creuset Dutch oven today. You're gonna need salt, flour for the roux, black pepper, garlic, thyme. You can use dried as well. Red pepper, bay leaves, the Creole seasoning that I made last week, or whatever Creole seasoning you have on hand, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, a garlic again, <laughs> black pepper, green onions, and you're gonna need onions, a bell pepper, and celery. Okra, and this is okra from our garden. I, as you can see, I fried it up because I like to get all of the uh, sliminess out, and that works really well. So right here, I've already started our oil heating up in the pan, and now I'm going to add a little bit of the flour to see how hot it actually is. And this is the beginning of creating our roux. So once you start this process, do not leave. You do not want to burn this. Once you burn, if you burn your roux, uh, you just have to throw it out and start all over again. Uh, that's the reason why I just start off with a little bit at a time on uh, medium heat and sometimes I turn it down a little bit more if I feel like um, it's getting away from me but um, yeah so right here I'm just as you can see it's really going strong so now I'm just gonna add some more I wouldn't recommend adding all of that flour that's one cup of flour so it's gonna be one cup of oil uh, to one cup of flour, but you're gonna add the flour in slowly, just a little bit at a time, at a time, excuse me, so that you can make sure that you're getting all of the lumpiness out of it and keeping it from sticking to the pan. Now, I'm not a professional roux maker, actually. Um, you know, I will have to take my hat off to my mom and sisters. I'm going for the peanut butter uh, color, um, whereas my mom and sisters, they could take it all the way down to cinnamon color. Not me. Uh, I, I just get a little scared, <laughs> to say the least. And um, I just take my root to a nice peanut butter uh, color. So you'll see that I tried not to keep you all on this part for too long, but... I think I made a roux in another video and I just didn't stay on it long enough. This process actually takes at least 10 minutes. Um, yeah, about 10 minutes. Your, your arm feels like it's going to fall off a little bit, but you, you know, you just got to stick with it. And this is what gives the thickness to your gumbo. Yes, as I said before, I'm, you know, I don't push it. I go to... Uh, a peanut butter a nice toasty brown color um, and that's enough for me because I'm too afraid of burning it um, as you can see we're right at that wonderful peanut butter color and I'm excited because this means I can move on to the next part just making sure I got everything and um, you know, but you're more than welcome to keep going to a darker color if you like. Now you're going to add your onions, bell peppers, and celery. And I added some of the vegetable stock. And I'm just stirring because your, um, your roux is still thick. So you want to make sure that it's not burning. So you have to stir really quickly and um, add the vegetable stock at the same time. I 
I think all of these steps after you make the roux are, are go really fast. So, and you can also cook your vegetables, cook your um, uh, celery, onions, and bell peppers prior to putting it in the pot if you like. I just rather do it um, when I after I make the roux. Now I'm adding the rest of my vegetable stock. Now I'm adding all of the seasonings. So I have the black pepper, paprika, the Creole seasoning, garlic, thyme, all of that in there. Like I said, I'll leave the all of that in the description below. And here I'm just going to add the green onions. Um, and then from there, I am going to add my okra that's already been cooked. And last but not least, I'm adding the vegetarian sausage. It's a vegetarian Italian sausage by Tofurky. You can add chicken. You can add... Um, any type of seafood that you like. Um, I prefer to keep it rather simple, and this is a, a vegetarian one. But there's lots of uh, mock chicken out there that you can add as well if you like. And this is the final product. I hope you all get a chance to try it. Um, you can add rice to it. Um, I just wanted to show you the gumbo on its own first. Um, it's really delicious. I've already tasted it. Um, and I just hope that you all get a chance to try the recipe. See you guys in the next one. Bye.